Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how you can create a custom image that you can use for your deployments in Azure environment. A lot of time what happens, uh, you are maybe migrating from the on-prem and you have a certain process, a certain agents that you already have that you're using for monitoring, for endpoint solution, for DLP, for EDR and you want to continue all that so a lot of times what happens on-prem you maintain a golden image where all of the agents are deployed pre-configured and if you start using those images everything that just works so what i'll do i'm going to go to the uh, linux image that i have right now and i'm going to assume this linux image i have already installed all the agents that i need within this one and it's up and running and i just need to create a copy of this Linux image and then we will apply a policy in the Azure that will enforce that people when they're deploying any Linux they have to use my golden image to do that it's really simple there's a capture button right here so you go to the virtual machine of your choice where you you know all the agents are installed and working click on the capture button and then say you put it uh, under one of the resource group that you already have and uh, you can share the image to a shared gallery share it to the gallery as an image version or you can also use it as a no capture only a managed image if you like uh, then what if you want to delete the virtual machine right after the image is created you can enable this button and over here let's see over here it says target image gallery right now I don't have any and so let's just create one target image gallery uh, my images so that's the gallery that I'm going to use and operating system state uh, you can have a generalized or specialized in a generalized category VMs created from this image require host name admin user and other VM related setup to be completed on first boot. If you have a specialized VM created from this image are completely configured and do not require parameters such as hostname and admin username. I'm just going to go with the generalized one and target machine definition. We have not created any. Capturing a virtual machine image will make the virtual machine unstable. This action cannot be undone so target image definition if you click on it the parent image definition for this version so you can just click on new so image definition name say linux version or linux allowed or allowed allowed prod so you can put whatever you like it's a it's a linux it's already picking up Gen 2 already picked up. Publisher rate had offer rail scale Gen 2. I can keep all that if I like. These are optional fields. I'm not going to do anything. Hit OK. And I'm going to put a version number 0.0.1 .0 and then exclude from latest. I'm not going to do end of life. I am not going to configure default replica one everything else storage uh, standard HTD LRS uh, if you want to change it to something else you can I'm going to go with the default and then just uh, create uh, review and create and then create and what it's doing is going to stop the virtual machine before it creates that image and it should be ready uh, very very shortly and I'll have an image that I can use for uh, for the deployment so let's see how long it takes so what it's doing right now if you look at my notification logs it first successfully stopped the virtual machine then it successfully generalized the virtual machine and right now they are uh, it's doing a deployment of the virtual machine so let's wait for a little longer all right the deployment is still ongoing but over here you can see that my image the gallery uh, got created and next uh, in that gallery that image got created my image is linux allowed prod and right now uh, over here 
Microsoft image galleries and then image version is uh, getting created okay I would expect this to be done very very quickly so we can wait uh, and all of that is going on under the test OS so if you come over here this is probably is what is going on that is the 0 0.0.1 uh, image version that is getting created as part of the operation that we have run so let's come back over here and the deployment is still in progress I'm going to give it couple more minutes it's been only two minutes since we started this image creation process so just give it one more minute but although the process is still ongoing I think my image may already be available for use but I would wait uh, once until this is done uh, but what you will do this image will show up uh, for your own use now if you want to use this particular image for further deployments so let me show you how to do that so you will come back now and go to the virtual machine and say I want to create a new Linux virtual machine and instead of using what is coming from you know the default image list I'm going to click on see all images and marketplace is where I would not go and I'm going to come back over here my items here you see my images and you have a shared images now I'm going to go to the shared images and look at that I have got my Linux allowed prod image with me which has got all the agents that I need installed and configured so I know absolutely sure that I don't worry about installing and uh, once I have uh, installed the Linux operating system and now we'll go from there test Linux and we would use this particular image and just go through the regular uh, deployment process for a virtual machine and we can go and we will create and deploy this now understand the importance of this right now this uh, is I have a policy that will that is blocking this deployment so I need to go and get rid of the policy let me just come back to the policy real quick so now if you want what you can do you can create a policy around this deployment and you can only allow uh, the the deployment of your virtual machine that uses your image with all those agents installed so let me try this one one more time create create a virtual machine so test and this time again see all shared images that's the image that I want uh, go to password uh, put a student and student and review and create and uh, so as I was saying that now you can create a policy that would allow only the images the custom images that you are you have developed and people can only use those uh, and how to create that I have already created a video that tells you how to do that how to create a policy that would only allow the images that you want to be used in your environment so just do a quick Google search and you will find it and as a matter of fact I'm also going to give you the link to that video let me just go to the video and find the link for you so this is my library and my videos are here and uh, look at that how to how to clone a virtual machine restrict so this is the one that I want to give it to you uh, restrict permitted or allowed operating system version in Azure so I'm going to copy this one and I'll also give it to you in this video that I'm creating and look at that this uh, this virtual machine deployment is in progress and it is using the image that we have created uh, so that's all I wanted to show in this video how to create your own image how to store it and how to use your own image for your deployment process if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe and uh, leave your comments have a great day thank you